In this lesson, we're going to talk about the volumes of prisms and cylinders. So let's start first by talking about area versus volume. Well, in the prior lessons, we talked about area. Area is just the number of units squared in a two-dimensional space. So we have a square here. We have one unit on the left and one unit in terms of its length. So one unit long and one unit wide. We say that this particular square is one unit squared. When we talk about volume, however, we're talking about three-dimensional space. So we have a length, we have a width, and we have height. So we have to measure each one of those. In this case, we have one by one by one, or one unit cubed. So in this lesson, we're talking about volumes versus area. So the volumes are going to be in cubed three-dimensional space units. The first volume we'll talk about is the volume of a right rectangular prism. The volume of a right rectangular prism is equal to the product of its length, its width, and its height. So we identify the length as L, the width as W, and the height as H. So you see the equation is volume of a rectangular prism, length times width times height. We can also determine the volume of a right rectangular prism or any prism for that matter, by taking first the area of the base and then multiplying that by the height. So we know the area of the base is in two dimensions, not just one, and then we multiply it by the height another dimension so we get that third dimension. You can also think of the volume of this prism as a series of infinite slices of the base running all the way up the length of its height. So again, the volume of any prism, including the rectangular prism we talked about, is going to be the area of its base times the height. We can handle the volume of a similar in the same fashion. If we can find the area of the base and multiply it by, it, by its height, then we have the volume of the cylinder. Now we all know that the base of a cylinder, the base area of a cylinder, is going to be equal to the area of a circle and the area of a circle is pi r squared. So the volume of a cylinder can either equal the base area times its height, or pi r squared times the height. We can use that similar type of understanding and figuring out volume and apply that to uh, prisms as well as cylinders by taking that cross section of a prism or cylinder instead of just the base and then multiplying that cross-section times its height. So remember, think of this cross-section, or the base, as just a small slice or sliver of the total cylinder. And if we multiply that by a number of those slices stacked on each other all the way up to the top of the cylinder or prism, then we get its volume. So in this case, a C with a mark through it, or cross through it, it's called the cross-sectional area, which is uh, similar to its base and then multiply by its height. So the volume of a prism or, prism or cylinder will be equal to its cross-sectional area times the height. So let's handle a couple quick problems. Now let's take a look at the volume of a rectangular prism. In this case, we have a length of 5, a height of 10, and a width of 6. So length times width times height equals the volume of the rectangular prism. So my length is 5, my width is 6, and my height is 10, and this equals 300 units cubed. The next question, let's take a look at the volume of the cylinder. Remember, the volume of the cylinder is the area of this base of the cylinder times its entire height. Now, this might seem a little confusing because the height is actually a horizontal height, but if we tip this cylinder up on its base, and we'll see it's facing up and down in the similar fashion we are accustomed to seeing cylinders. So the area of its base, we have a uh, diameter of 9, so the area of the base is going to be pi r squared, or pi times 4.5 squared, which leaves us with 20.25. So remember, the volume of a cylinder is equal to the base area times the height. We just found the base area. 
to equal 20.25. We know the height is 12. We multiply 20.25 times 12, and we get 243 units cubed.